Hey, my name is Christina Kras, and I'm going to be helping you with problem two, part A and B. So in this problem, we're working for the what are the genotypes of the parents that produce the following phenotype ratios. And in part A, we're looking for one walnut to one rose to one pea to one single. And the answer that we got was um, heterozygous R, heterozygous P, then homozygous um, recessive little r and recessive PP. And I'm going to be explaining why we got that answer. So if you do pungent squares for these, got the R R and the two recessive R's. And you get that. And then if you do the pungent squares for the P's, P, little p, then just. And all the possibilities that we can get are going to be So all these are going to be our single combs, then we're going to have a one to one ratio. These are all the different types. You write it all out from the pendant squares. I need to explain more. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining. Yeah. And in part two, or B of two, we're looking for. Three rows combs in one single. And for that, we got heterozygous R with recessive homozygous P's times heterozygous R and recessive homozygous P's. And to check, we did a pendant square. Doesn't matter, um, the peas don't matter because you're always going to get the little peas. Because rose combs are this, you can um, any of the phenotypes with the large R are going to be rose comb. And then the recessive homozygous is going to be the single comb. So it's a three to one ratio. Yay. Hello, I'm Alexandria Brunel, and I'm going to be doing part C and D for problem two. So on Part C, uh, we're just trying to figure out a uh, one to one ratio for one rose and one single. How we would get this would uh, be uh, heterozygous R with homozygous recessive P's times homozygous recessive with homozygous recessive also. Uh, we're just gonna show this through Punnett squares. So we got RR. And then the peas don't matter because they're all going to be little peas anyways. So we would get 
We would get in the end two heterozygous R's with little P's, which would equal our two roses. And then we would get two recessive R's with recessive P's, which would be our two singles, which would give us our one to one ratio for our rows to single. And then for D, uh, we're trying to get our three walnut to one rose ratio. And to be able to get that, we would have our homozygous dominant R's with a heterozygous P with a heterozygous R and a heterozygous P, which would give us this in a Punnett square. Then our letters are this P's. Big P, big P with uh, heterozygous P, heterozygous P, and then a recessive homozygous P, which in the end would be, uh, so you'd have two big R's with our heterozygous P's and one heterozygous R with a uh, homozygous dominant P, which these would be three walnut. And then our one rose would be produced by our heterozygous R with our recessive P's, which would equal our one rose. And that's the end of that. <laughs> Good job.